Hello, uh, hello Year 6. Uh, I'm sorry that I won't be seeing you before you leave St Philip's this year. Uh, I would normally come in and uh, have a session if I could. I'll actually give out uh, these booklets, uh, the Your Move ones, but uh, you'll hopefully get them soon. And I hope it's going to be helpful, the book, as you face moving on to uh, secondary school in September. Um, this is just a short video and there'll be a, a break if you want a break to have a discussion if you want to do that. I wonder if you've had a chance to actually to visit your secondary school and I wonder how you feel about moving on to it. The last few months have been quite strange haven't they? Uh, normal things have not been normal, it's been rather upside down. So I wouldn't be surprised thinking about a new school that you must be a little nervous or apprehensive or even worried. You guess, well, what's going to happen? How is it going to work out? It's very natural to be uncertain. Uh, what will the new school life be like? How are you going to get on? Sometimes we're quite fearful. and um, We all have fears. In fact, um, I've got a list of things of fears that people have, like heights and flying, people, open spaces, even trees, and bushes and spiders. I can't say I'm that keen on spiders myself. But uh, we all have fears, they're often called phobias, and um, those are some of the phobias. They're very funny words like agoraphobia and such like. Phobias are something that takes over and often spoils our life and in our enjoyment. But we can overcome uh, most of the fears and, and face them well. But it's okay to feel nervous and it's okay to feel worried. But to face them and to recognise them is very important. I remember when I moved school, uh, I was actually concerned about it, but I had my brother there, which helped. And then I remember moving from York to London and thinking, God, but it was also an adventure, something new. And even becoming a vicar was, a, was a, an adventure as well. So it, we can look at this as a challenge, but something to look forward to as well. And your parents and teachers, they worry. We all worry about things. And we should name the worries and to say, well, what is it and how can I face it? Remember, many others have faced these issues before and have survived. They've got through. I don't know if you can recall your feelings when you first started St Philip's. Can you think about what changes that you faced then and how you felt about it? Maybe the similar sim feelings that you have, those worries about moving on. Maybe it might be worth making a list. You may like to pause in a moment just to, just to discuss with whoever you're with about what your worries are. Actually, I, you could look at it in those two questions. What am I looking forward to? And what am I worried about? If you want to have a pause for this video for a moment just to do that, do that now. I wonder whether if you made your list uh, what you came up with because uh, I made a list actually here is my list um, bullied getting lost in the school fear of making not making friends being left out size of the school getting lost you know maybe being the youngest in the school whereas you've been used to being the oldest maybe it's being told off will I get detention and maybe it's the journey to school or about the homework, will I be able to do the homework and all those different teachers and maybe all those different subjects to face which I've never done before. They're all things that we can worry about but things to face as well. So I've got some tips, tips for, for survival. Well one is water. Always think you can carry water, you can have, you carry a drink, often new food that you're going to have. So enjoy it. You'll probably be given a planner. Make use of a planner. This was our Emma's when she went to one of the schools. Make notes in it, write in them and organise the way, the way ahead. And ask teachers, ask your friends you know, about things and write them down. Write down the questions that people ask you to do, teachers. 
It's also a time to enjoy. I remember playing table tennis at my secondary school. It's great fun. Maybe you're already doing it. Join a club. Maybe do some other sport you've never done before. It can be a great time just to enjoy new things. And make friends, because you make friends when you get there. Also, have a watch or your mobile. Keep it to keep watch of where you are and what time things are. And know where things are. And talk about knowing where things are. You, you might get lost, so you might want a map of Cambridge. Or there's the a cycle map, if you're going by bike. Just to find out the layout of how you get to the school. Uh, and how you get back. And also have maybe have a layout of the school itself. To think of how you get from class to class. You can write them in the exercise book that you have. Uh, I remember the other thing was that uh, I have labels with, with my name on it. So these are sticky ones, but you can have them in your clothes because often personal belongings, you can't sort of leave them anywhere. So you have to take them around and you can get them lost. Uh, the other thing uh, is different. you have a different uniform. You have to learn maybe how to tie a tie. God, how, how we work out how you, how you to put this on. You, know, you have to do it round. And up and over and that I remember learning how to do this at school. So tying, putting the uniform and enjoying the new uniform. Getting it all wrong. Right. Um, uh, so it's good to do. The other thing which I have uh, is my Bible. You hopefully will be given a Bible as well. And uh, I found this is a great book to read, to learn about life and how to face life and how to be the best person I can be. Because it's who you are that matters, how you face things, but your character, your honesty, your kindness, your being being pleasant with people. So those positive attitudes come often as you discover that God is with us. So uh, the book that you, you'll be given, which is uh, called Your Move, it's given by St Philip's Church and you'll all have a copy uh, and you'll be able to write your name in it. And there'll be a letter inside for me to read, a little introduction. And it, just read it. It's got lots of interesting things in it, lots of tips, interviews, ideas, some fun things. And uh, some of the things we've been talking about, how, about how to face being bullied and uh, detention and those sort of things. So it's a very useful little booklet to enjoy. You can write in, there's bits of pages uh, in the middle to, to write in as well. And if you ever want to talk about things in the future, there are your friends and your parents. We here at the church, I'm here, I'm always around if you want to have a talk about something. And my de details will be actually on the inside cover of the book. Do phone or get in touch or come along to the service at St Philip's at half past ten on Sundays. So I'm just going to have a prayer for you as you move to your new school and you've had you face this future and pray that God will be with you. Father God, I know that changes can be very unsettling and Father we pray for each person as they leave St Philip's to go to new places. For those people listening now, help each one to face the new challenges ahead and keep focused. May they remember they can always turn to you for help each day. May they celebrate when they can overcome each challenging situation. And thank you, Lord, that you have looked after us in the past. We thank you for St Philip's and we can trust you for the future. Father, we trust you with the confidence that comes from knowing that you are with us. And I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. So maybe you can talk about the plans and your thoughts for September with your parents and teachers and friends. And maybe when you look at, find the book, talk about the book. Enjoy it. And may God bless you. God be with you.